Dakota, any chances out there tomorrow night? Uh, probably not. No, no. She was this a little bit of a setback? I know. He yeah, I think I. I just think we're taking a more precautious approach right now. Um, I don't know. I don't necessarily think it's a setback, but we're we're playing a, a little bit more cautious. We got to see Demko obviously out on the ice at the beginning of practice uh, this morning. A positive step. Yeah, I mean it's uh, <clears throat> he's taking more shots, more tougher shots. He's doing um, you know it's just part of the plan you know and we're just going to stick with it. Last night you just mentioned kind of looking back at that game, you liked a lot of the parts. What stood out to you as probably the biggest positive out of that one? Yeah, I, I like I love the gapping of our defense with the with the forwards, the connection of there. I, I thought. It's probably one of our better games of the, the connection with the five. This is not the defense, and I, I thought the tracking was good. Not as many odd man rushes. Um, when you, you group that together, you can control the game a little bit better. So um, it was more. It was, it was a good game management game. Um, obviously, getting guys depth scoring helped, and uh, getting you know some guys off. Uh, you know, Jake getting a goal, Petey getting a goal. I mean, it's good. It's good. It's good for their confidence. When it comes to managing those odd man rushes, does yeah. that go back to just video, or is that a matter of energy and well, effort well there's video and then there's practice and then there's you know sometimes you as a coach you got to use your ace in the hole sometimes and it's sometimes they got to hear some stuff they don't want to hear and I, I i think the one thing with these guys are really receptive of that you know they understand and they, the, the good thing is i don't even have to say it like they they basically said the last couple of games it's unacceptable um and it you know so far those two games are uh, less and less i mean well san jose there was a bit more Less than before, but there were some, and then obviously Anaheim was less. So hopefully we can start that trend. I, I know you like how Kevin has played in goal. I, I mean, who wouldn't? But uh, he, he's also not done this in a while. And I wonder what, what you think of sort of his mental approach and whether you see a guy that's able to stay in the moment or yeah. how he's handling it. Well, I think that's what it is. He's staying in the moment. Like, he's not even... You know, he doesn't even think who we're playing Saturday night. Like, he's just, you know, obviously he's going to play tomorrow. Um, and that's all he's thinking about. And he's thinking about his practice with Marco at 12.30 today. The goalie, uh, the drills he is like, I, you know, I talked to him, like, he doesn't think too far ahead. Um, and if you talk about staying in the moment, he is staying in the moment. And uh, I think that's the best way for any player, but even for him. I know that you knew that Kiefer Sherwood was hard to play against based on how he played against you in the playoffs. Did you know he was as good a player? As, as what he's showing for you then? Well, I got to give credit to the, to the staff, our, our pro scouting staff, obviously Patrick and Jim, you know, they identified, you know, what we, you know, what I, what I like, which is great, but also what they like, and they, they try to go find those players. I mean, obviously he's, uh, you know, he's been, he's been a bright spot with our team because he just adds that juice. Even when our team's a little quiet, he's chirping on the bench. He's getting, he's getting people that usually don't talk much on our bench talking so it's contagious and uh, yeah and obviously you know I talked to him the summer three or four times and he said you know he had some offensive game to him you know um, and you can see that he has it. Does he have a certain drive that maybe he's got because it hasn't been easy for him you know undrafted a bunch of different teams <clears throat> through waivers and free agent. He's got a chip on his shoulder you know he's got he's, he's kind of like guards you know they got that every day prove everybody wrong um, and I think if you have that chip on your shoulder, uh, you know, that chip, it, it, it makes you not comfortable. He's not, he, he doesn't want to be comfortable, um, and I like that. With uh, the blooper line, they, like, you expect them to be a hard-working, you know, good forward-checking line, but they've also been able to generate some offense off the rush, not only in the last game, but even, like, the, the Pittsburgh game. Um, is there something they're doing on, like, whether it's on the breakout or supporting the puck that's allowing yeah. them to create and transition to you said it, it it's it's they're connected and they're supporting each other they're very rarely they're wide they're you know if there's one there's usually two there and the third guy's in, in the triangle position um you know when you when, when i look at video we have an overhead camera you know you, you you know why they're successful because they're close together and um and and, and i'll be honest with you, you know they, they have their warts sometimes in, in in a game but for the most part, they're system guys. I shouldn't say warts, but I'm saying some, sometimes that, you know, they, they, uh, they'll make a mistake, which is fine. But um, they're system guys. you, you got to have system guys on your team if you want to be successful, and, and they're system guys. Do you have any update on uh, Forbert? Uh, week to week. So he, he's in that mode right now, week to week. Beautiful shot that time from LeCaramaki. Great shot by LeCaramaki right here. 
generational talent. Thanks for liking the video and subscribing.